Today's topic is the thrifty phenotype hypothesis, but what exactly is it and what are some things that we can learn from it? The thrifty phenotype hypothesis was developed by C.N. Hales and D.J. Barker in the 1980s as a basis for determining possible environmental factors that could influence the onset of cardiometabolic diseases including type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. They did in-depth research to further develop this hypothesis and explain some of the causes of these diseases in adults. This hypothesis takes into account genetic heritability while also bringing attention to developmental plasticity, which is where different genetic phenotypes are created due to the varying effects of some environmental factors. In other words, the environment that you grow up in can directly impact your development from fetal stages all the way into early adulthood. Research determined that both an excess and a lack of food or nutrients in mothers have impact on fetal development which contributes to children being born with metabolic syndrome and can lead to the development of cardiometabolic diseases. In conclusion, the 30 phenotype hypothesis can be used to make connections between maternal health and early childhood nutrition to determine the likelihood of whether or not a cardiometabolic disease can occur. The knowledge gained from this hypothesis can further be used to try and optimize health and development and field growth in order to prevent health risks later in life. For other topics of interest, please visit BioCultureShock on Instagram and Twitter.